Good morning. It's raining today, so I thought I might make a short video about the importance of the literature that has been written about the New Forest. There's probably very few places in England where so much has been written about it. There are thousands of scientific papers written about the study of the New Forest. But just for this short video, I wanted to just, just touch on some of the very early books that were written about the forest. The one I want to concentrate on most of all in this short video is a book written by John Wise in 1862. Now the book uh, has had several editions. I've got um, uh, two fifth editions and I was given this uh, by the New Forest Association. This is the uh, third edition, which is a, a lovely copy. Um, now, it's a glorified guidebook, but John Wise, he came to live in Lyndhurst. Uh, he wasn't born in the forest, uh, but he must have fell in love with it. And I don't know how long it took him to write this book, but it covers every aspect of the forest at that time. The archaeology, uh, the insect life, the plant life, um, even the language that locals used and dialects are in here. Uh, it's quite a remarkable book. Um, and I think it has stood the test of time in many ways. Uh, it's from a bygone age. But I think his passion for the forest comes through this book in its, in its, uh, through its pages. John Wise... Uh, wrote this book over 158 years ago and as someone like myself that has spent most of his life trying to protect the forest uh, from damaging change I find it quite refreshing to read something from that time uh, because the forest was changing then the railway was running through the centre of it people were coming to the forest like they'd never come to the forest before we have reached a time when something else is happening with population and uh, more more houses being built around the new forest. But there is one little quote here that I'll, I'll, I'll finish with. But I do love this book um, and I recommend anyone to get hold of it if they can, because there's some lovely bits of prose in there. I think this bit here sort of sums it up, which is sort of really at the end of the book. And here, let me, for the last time, say that I feel sure that nobody knows anything of the true charms of the country who is ignorant of natural history. With the slightest love and knowledge of it, then every leaf is full of meaning, every pebble a history, every torn branch gilded with lichens and silvered with mosses has its wonders, has its wonders to tell, and you will find life in the dust and beauty in the commonest weed, which I do think is quite a nice way of putting things. And that applies today. Goodbye.